Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is going to answer some of the questions I had from a post in my community tab last week. I asked, basically ask me anything about my portfolio, about myself, and I did get a few questions back. So always, always appreciate it. But before we get into those questions, I just wanted to thank everybody that is following along the channel. I really, really appreciate it. We are almost up to 900 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. We're just uh, far away as I'm filming this. So if you are watching this and aren't subscribed, if you could go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Like I always say, subscribing is free. It'd be great to have you follow along We've got a great community here. It's building slowly but surely. Market isn't doing that great. So I think that the subscribers, not many people are investing. So maybe not as many subscribers uh, joining the channel, but it would be great to have you uh, join along if you're interested. Thanks. And let's just jump right in the questions. We like to do these all in one go. Let's go. Uh, so first one came from Vic. Uh, Vic is a regular on the channel. Thanks Vic uh, for following along the channel. Always really appreciate it. He was asking, uh, what were what were your biggest losers and what did you do with them? So Vic, obviously you've been following on the channel, you can see exactly what my portfolio is. There's a couple losers in there, that's for sure. But what I haven't done is I haven't sold uh, the portfolio that I'm building. The goal is for 10, you know, basically a five to 10 year at least uh, to hold some of these stocks and ETFs. So a lot of them, there's a couple that are down to uh, CM, uh, Cielo Waste Solutions and Solar Alliance Energy is down. Those are two of the kind of penny stocks that could get more gambling money. Uh, it's obviously a very volatile, uh, you know, these small cap companies. Uh, so I put at least a little bit in there just to see what happens. Uh, that being said, I haven't sold any of them. They're way down, just kind of let them ride out. Uh, will I add to them? Probably uh, as time goes by, uh, just to kind of see how, how things pan out. Uh, the Cielo Way Solutions especially. I, I like the technology and what they're trying to build and probably when they, uh, started to get listed uh, it was probably a little bit of um uh, putting out information maybe that would they thinking that they were a bit farther ahead in their technology and their research and everything else which caused the price to obviously go up and then come down so quickly so if maybe I should have sold it when I was up a little bit that's what I have to learn I think a little bit is to take take some uh, profits off the table but again learning experience as we go but that's my two two losers the rest everything else is down Vic if you obviously have been following the market there's no there's no winners lately uh, so it's I think a lot of time, a lot of this is riding this out and a dollar cost averaging into the positions that uh, that I think have a, a good chance of continuing to grow in the future. But great, great question. Uh, another one, Anthony95756. Uh, how do you how do you decide what stocks to buy? How do you read financial reports of companies and what criteria do you use to gauge if a company is undervalued or overvalued? Wow, that's way beyond not so way beyond my scope. I do research the companies, Anthony, um, but I you know I, I have a very top level uh, knowledge of investing. I'm learning here as we go. Uh, there is a channel member now. This uh, hopefully she's going to be watching this, and she actually her next it is her next question is Candice from Mountain Finance. She probably has a video on her channel talking about um talking about this criteria and what to look for. If not, Candace, when you're watching, if you're watching this, that's a great question to answer, maybe in an upcoming video. So Anthony, go check out Candace's, uh, it's, it's called Mountain Finance on YouTube. She's got a great channel, lots more kind of in-depth information in terms of uh, stock analysis, investing, that kind of thing. This channel is more just kind of sharing my, my journey as we go. And as I learn, I'll try and pass on some information. So hopefully that a little bit answers your question. Uh, but again, on to Mountain Den, Mountain Finest. So Candace from Mountain Finest, great YouTube channel. Candace, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for your questions, always appreciate it. Uh, she asked, what was your first stock you ever bought and, and uh, why did you choose that one? I had to look back at this. Uh, the first one, well, I guess technically, I guess it's kind of a stock, it was an ETF. So uh, I did actually have to pull this up uh, to, to go back and actually remember uh, what I did. So we'll pull up, uh, I have it saved here. And it was back in April of uh, 20, 2021 when I started this, because we've obviously been the channel for going for a while. So I bought a VDY on April, in April, the first positions that I did buy, Candice. Uh, and then the first stock uh, was Rio, uh, REI.UN, the Rio Can Real Estate Investment Trust. These were all on the same days. Uh, another one was a Cineplex. I actually used to have Cineplex in my portfolio. And I also bought Trans Alta Renewables. So I guess the first couple like company stocks uh, that I bought was Trans Alta Renewables and Cineplex. Now on that note with Cineplex, that one I actually sold and made a little bit of money. So um, I guess I did okay in choosing that one as one of my first stocks. I haven't been following to see what, what that one's been doing lately, but it was kind of nice. Uh, that was kind of a, 
uh, COVID kind of recovery stock with a lot of people. And um, it did okay. I think I, I don't remember how much I made on that, but it did, it did was up a little bit. So took some money and invested it, reinvested it into the TFSA. Uh, but that's a great question. I'd love to hear everybody's comments down below. What was maybe the first stock that they ever bought? Let me know down in the comments. It'd be great to hear. Uh, another question from Peaceful Minds. Um, hi there, hope your day's doing well, doing okay. The markets are green today, so not a bad day. Uh, my question is, what's your number? What number do you have in mind to be happy with with TELUS? So TELUS is obviously a channel favorite for a lot of people. And when is your next buy with TELUS? I will be adding to TELUS, obviously waiting for paydays, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I did have, uh, You'll, well, you'll see them soon. I had to buy new uh, glasses, uh, which I have coming in, uh, new prescription. That was expensive. Glasses are expensive. So that's going to kind of put a bit of a dent in my investing for, for the next month or a month. But I will do a small deposit. TELUS is on the radar. Absolutely. Um, my my goal for the number, as many as possible, I guess, would be the best thing. Um, and if you're watching my channel, I'm trying to kind of, kind of keep the percentage, uh, basically weight of the, where I am, the position wise with TELUS. So as other things build, I will slowly add into TELUS as well. Um, what I'm trying to kind of do is I'll, I'll get a dividend from TELUS. It's not going to be enough to cover the dividend, but I'll at least buy kind of what I've been starting to kind of do is as the dividend comes through is I will reinvest those back into the into the stock, uh, not as a fractional share, but I'll kind of tie and top it up if I'm able to and buy a whole share just to kind of get that momentum going. But great question. Um, how many tell us does everybody else want? Let me know in the comments below. Definitely, definitely a channel, a channel favorite on that. And from Ilongo, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, uh, Lock Lee, I think that's right. Um, you only use well simple. Do you only use well simple trade? Uh, for my TFSA, yes, I only use well simple trade. I did do a video, oh gosh, it's been a while back. If you want to check that out on the channel, a bit more in depth of all my investments. Um, but in terms of well simple, I do have a well simple. Uh, I do have this like the well simple save. I have a savings account in there. It gives you hot, you know, higher interest uh, savings on uh, your deposits. Not the greatest right now, actually. If you look around, there's probably some better, better interest rates out there. But not, I mean, the difference between one and two percent on sitting on savings is not worthwhile moving your money around all the time to chase half a percent. I don't think, anyways. Um, so a little bit in there. I have my savings. My rainy day fund is in is in the savings account, and I do also have a. You can go back and have hear a bit more obviously detail. Check my other videos, but I do have the well simple invest going I have my RSP kind of on autopilot there uh, just goes every every uh, every month I put my RSP deposit in there kind of don't pay attention to it that very very much and I also have uh, from a company where years ago I used to have a pension at a company which is a locked in into a lira uh, which is like a locked in retirement account um, which I can't touch till I'm I think 65 I guess 55 65 uh, it's locked in can't do anything with it so it is in well simple invest uh, in a portfolio of ETFs in their invest side. If you if you're a bit apprehensive at the beginning about investing in the individual stocks, check out the Well Simple Invest. It's not a bad product actually. I mean the, the it kind of does a lot of it for you. And what I've noticed about that is especially with the RSP, everything, you know, every, obviously everything is every everything is down in the market. Bonds are down, equities are down, but it takes a little a lot of the emotion out of out of investing in individual stocks because if you put your deposit in, it kind of does it for you. It does all the uh, allocations in different uh, in different sectors and different uh, different geographical areas in terms of ETFs and also into bonds and gold and cash as well. So good a good uh, way to build a diversified portfolio uh, as opposed to doing individual stocks. Um, it's whatever everybody's into. Some people have some, I kind of use this TFSA as a bit of a fun account. It's kind of enjoyable to kind of uh, be able to choose different things. Uh, there's also, you cannot do in the well simple invest side, they don't do any kind of uh, cryptocurrencies in their invest portfolios. I wish they did. I would put a small portion uh, of my other invest, you know, RSP into that if I was able to, uh, unfortunately you're not. So that allows me to do it in my TFSA, which obviously you can see with a couple of uh, the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency ETFs that I have. A uh, long-winded question for uh, for that, but anyways, if you want to hear, hear more about that, I do have another video. I'll link it below. I'll track it down on the channel. I'll link it below. To check that out. That's all, everybody. Uh, always one take for these questions. They're always kind of fun to do. I really appreciate your questions. Uh, as I, as always, I like to say I'm not a financial planner by any means. I try and do my best to. If I cannot answer your question, definitely try and point you in the right direction. But if you are investing, make sure you're doing your own research on all these stocks. Don't jump into anything just because I am or any 
any other YouTuber or anything you see online anywhere. Uh, do your own research. Make sure you're comfortable with investing. Uh, don't uh, put all your eggs in one basket by any means and just uh, stay safe out there. Do your research. Thanks for watching, everybody. One last time, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Trying to see the channel grow. The next goal to uh, reach on the channel is a thousand, but we're almost at 900. So if we can get four more from this video, it'd be great to see. That's all, everybody. We'll do another uh, portfolio update uh, later on, uh, probably over the weekend. Haven't made any deposits, so there's not really much happening, although it is green today. Let's keep that hopefully going in the future. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.